So I, I walked back and uh, there were, all the roads were blocked and I just could not believe the destruction that had happened there. And, uh, but, you know, I just, and the internet was not working for a few days mm -hmm. and uh, I just didn't talk to anybody about it. You know, it's just, I had no idea and also I felt guilty. You know, mm -hmm. I felt I was a watchman in the tower and there was a fire and I didn't warn the people and blood's on my hands. No, I mean, that's not the case, Fish. But, uh... You were given uh, an exit, you know, and you followed your instinct and... Well, the only people survived were the ones that went through the barricade, and, you know. Right. And, uh, I just... And... So, do, so you have any, do you have any theories? Do you have any thoughts on why... I mean, I know you're saying it's not the police officer's fault and whoever's in charge, but do you have any, any I know you've, it's been a couple of weeks now, you've had a lot of time to think and talk and ask people, and people have called you, and you know, you're just a, to me, you're like a, like a sage wise man. That's how I've always looked at you. You're somebody that knows things that other people don't know because of your background, your history, your education, the things that you've done in your life, and you've been here, and you listen and know you're a man of God. I think you've got a faith and you know the Bible. What do you, what do you think? <sighs> it was a choreographed disaster. You know, the pattern of it is just too obvious. You know, not only were they blocking where I was at, the other end of town I found out they had, Maui Electric was trying to set the poles up during the wind and they had the highway blocked off with that. The, the lack of communication, the sirens not going off, the water not being used, I'm, I mean, you could go on and on. It, it's, and then they're lying to us about the people and the children. That's why a lot of people been contacting me because they want to know what happened to the kids. Well, all you got to do is extrapolate. There's 3,001 students in Lahaina. Uh, a thousand of them have been accounted for. They're going to either alternative schools or online. That's 2,000 children not accounted for and this has been weeks afterwards and they're talking about a hundred or maybe 850 or 1100 that are missing it doesn't add up nothing adds up it's nothing kind of, adds up I mean no pun here but it seems kind of fishy don't it fish very fishy very fishy and also I went to open a bank account and I never told anyone which bank or what I'd done and the next day I got a text the phone saying someone's trying to uh, withdraw cash from your account mm -hmm. and uh, I went to the link and it had the uh, online thing for that bank which I had not installed or anything yet mm -hmm. and uh, had I I probably would have had all my money taken so I called the bank and I told them what happened and they said oh well, someone tried to fish you I'm like, but I haven't told anyone I went to the bank. How could they know it? There's nothing on my phone or anything. So Fish, right out of the gate, gets a bank account for the first time in 12 years. Yes. And you get Fish right out of the gate. As, as a matter of fact, I think I mentioned this to you earlier, but I have a, a couple that uh, lost two homes in Lahaina, and they contacted the phone number that they were given for the Red Cross, and they followed all the directions, and they're in their late 70s. They're not very tech-savvy. And I've got it all recorded. They just don't want me to share it because they're private people. But they're out of their mind crazy right now because they followed all these instructions to get their Red Cross assistance and ended up getting scammed, getting fished as well. So this is a warning to all those people out there that are trying to process claims with FEMA and Red Cross. Be very, very aware that there are scammers out there injecting themselves. I'm not saying it's the Red Cross. I'm just saying be very, very careful. And I think you've already experienced that, right? People yeah. taking advantage of people when they're as down and out as they possibly could be. So uh, if you missed the beginning of this, um, 